heard the news, I like started crying, and my mom was there to you know to hug me, and she was just like, everything's fine. Um, I hope you know, and that you keep fighting for this. And I mean, that's why like I'm still like I'm being part of this. I'm an activist for every, all of this that has to do with immigrants because you know it's a way for us to for our voices to be heard. And yeah, we're we're here for that reason. And uh, we stand in solidarity with our dreamers. Uh, we recognize their humanity, yes. their equality, um, and that all human beings belong to the same family and to the same planet. Yes. yes. So I am a youth leader at my church. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah. And it's a Hispanic church, so most of the people there are either adopted students or not. And so I was recently talking to one of them, and um, she was just telling me her struggle that it is trying finding a job right now. I mean, she came here when she was about three years old. It was all she's ever known, right? Yeah. And so now she has, like, she's a senior this year. So now um, she's facing um, that stage of she cannot apply to classes, even though she has like a four point five GPA, wow. something high. I don't know what it is actually, but. Um, it's just kind of sad to see that she's struggling and trying to find a job to support her family as well uh, because she, her dog is about to expire as well. So she's facing of, she's in that reality of whether she, if she goes back to Mexico, like she, it's a different culture for her. Like this is all she's ever known, you know, so I'm here to support her because she's scared. To, some people are scared to come here, you know, and actually speak their voices. So it's a good way for us to represent those people. So we're so glad to be here today. Uh, my name is Keith Caldwell. I'm a pastor here, Methodist, United Methodist pastor, right around the corner, Key Memorial. We meet 10 o'clock Sunday morning. <laughs> but what I want to say is my father's grandfather was born a slave in Tullahoma, Tennessee. And he, my dad talks about human beings being sold right in this square off the back of wagons. So we know when we miss it and we fail to see the humanity in others, those are the kinds of things that can happen. So I stand with the dreamers and the fullness of their humanity and that they are children of God. Amen? Amen.